Hey there folks, Peter here with BlackRock Business. So excited you made it today. Today in QuickBooks Point of Sale, we are going to talk about the most exciting topic ever on our channel. I mean, this is monumental. Listen up. We are going to talk about synchronizing your QuickBooks Point of Sale to your online store. Uh, and that might be, you know, WooCommerce, Shopify, Amazon, eBay, all of these different things. Uh, so many people have no idea what they want to do or no idea how to do this. But what they want to do is, you know, they want to have an online presence, an online store. But how do they do that when their inventory is in their store and in their point of sale? And, you know, how do you make that jive? Well, I am going to show you today how to solve that. And uh, I'm, I'm going to lay it out for you. Uh, I've been using this integration to do this for, I think, around 10 years or so, and it is the best thing in the market for doing this. Uh, go ahead and click on the link down in the description below, and you'll get over to my page where I can set you up with an on-screen demo. So go ahead and do that. Click down there and get in there, and I will have somebody uh, set that up with you, and they can walk you through every single question you have. So you got... You got a few things going on here. You got three things. You got your point of sale, which is where your inventory is at. You got your online store. And I'm actually going to go through this. I'm, I'm going to place an order in an online store and you're going to see how it is processed right into point of sale. Uh, so I have an online store here. It's got my point of sale junk in it. And uh, I'm going to show you how somebody would place an order in my store and it would go through fulfillment and it would end up in my point of sale. Uh, this is going to be monumental for you. I know, I know this is going to rock your world and change your life, right? <laughs> uh, there are three main things that I, I guess are the key points of what this integration will do for you and they're just killer. Uh, number one, it's going to sync quantities between your point of sale and your online store. And this is if you're not in the online space yet, you might not understand how problematic that can be, uh, that, that issue. Uh, because if you sell out something in your brick and mortar store, then how does your online marketplace or online store know that? How does it know to uh, reduce the quantity? So you could be receiving orders online for stuff that you don't even have in stock because your systems are not talking to each other. That is probably the number one reason why I see people not do an online store is because they cannot possibly manually keep up with their quantity counts in their real store uh, and their online store. And so once maybe they set up an online store and maybe they start getting like 10 or 20 orders a day and at some point they realize, holy crap, we are selling stuff online that we don't even have. We don't have this in stock. We got to call the customers. We have to process the refunds, pay extra fees. I could go on and on and on about it. All right. Number two, processing orders. So a lot of online store software kind of has a way to process the order in the back end, you know, uh, but how do you make that jive with your real life systems in your accounting or in your point of sale? And how do you uh, deduct the quantities? So this uh, software that I'm about to talk about the integration does that for you it has an awesome dashboard where you can have packing slips or picking slips and you can pack it up in a box and it can actually print out the shipping label and everything for you and then at the end it ends up in your point of sale as a receipt and so at the very end of the day it ends up in your accounting because it flowed through your point of sale system it's just amazing <laughs> and then uh, well, that was number three right there. It ends up in your financial system at the end of the day. And so, I mean, it's just phenomenal what this could do for you in getting online. I'm, I'm going to pull over the page. Uh, what I am speaking of is Webgility. And Webgility has been around for a long time. Um, you can sync between 70 different online sources. You can use this for QuickBooks Online, QuickBooks Desktop, QuickBooks Point of Sale, and some other softwares here in a lot of different countries as well, I might add. Um, the online stores that it works with, 
Uh, you got Amazon and eBay and Etsy and Jet and all of these different marketplaces, Walmart. Um, I mean, so you can hook up and have all of these things happening from all of these different marketplaces, but then online stores on your own website. Uh, I use WooCommerce a lot. A ton of people use Shopify because it's super easy. There's Magento, OpenCart, BigCommerce, 3D Cart. All of these different carts integrate with this dashboard and it is just phenomenal. I will tell you. Uh, so let's go through it. I'm gonna. I've taken up a ton of time just talking here, but I'm going to quickly and easily show you what would happen. So somebody comes to your store and they want to buy a barcode scanner, right? I'm sure that's what all your customers are buying barcode scanner. <laughs> well, maybe mine are. So I'm gonna add a couple things to my cart here, and let's see. Uh, I'm also gonna do I don't know some supplies. Uh, some labels, I guess, you know, so I'm going to add this. All right, so I've got two things in my cart up here. I'm going to jump to the checkout because I'm trying to make this fast. Um, we're going to have Samwise Baggins because that doesn't make any sense, right? And, you know, I just want to quickly get some things in here. Something street... Somewhere is their city, <laughs> and they live in Alaska, wherever. Looks like we need a phone number, and uh, made up at something.com. All right, we are not going to ship to a different address because I don't want to enter everything all in twice. Um, so here's the total, $211. We got two different products here. And then uh, I turned on this cash on delivery so I don't have to actually process a payment to make this happen. So I'm gonna place the order as if I were the customer. Uh, hopefully you're following along. This is somebody placing an order at your online store. This is in WooCommerce, by the way, uh, but it could uh, may as well be Shopify or Magento or whatever on your website. Uh, it this software hooks up to all of those and works very similarly and so uh, a few times a day or on a schedule possibly you can set up Webgility to download orders on a schedule I'm just gonna hit the get new orders button and it's going to try to download the orders it has found one new order so I head over to the orders tab we can see that we've got one oh, sorry it's jumping back and forth uh, one new order from Samwise Beggins for two eleven ninety eight, and so there's a number of things I can do here. I'm just gonna double click on the order. It's going to bring it up and tell me exactly what it's all about. We have my SKU numbers, and we have the product, and uh, I already have programmed in like weight and a few other things. You don't really have to have that, but um, the prices and everything, and we can see that it's unshipped. Uh, I am going to post this to QuickBooks, and in this case, it's QuickBooks Point of Sale. The same software can synchronize with QuickBooks Desktop, so uh, I'm gonna hit post to QuickBooks. And I could print out, you know, a packing slip. I can, it says it's been posted to QuickBooks Point of Sale. Sales receipt number three was created. Uh, you know, I could print out packing slip. I could print out um, shipping if I wanted to using some of the modules that are in here with different carriers and things, or I can post back my tracking ID to update the customer on the tracking ID. That's pretty awesome. Uh, but the software pretty much does everything it needs to. It also on a regular basis will synchronize my quantities that are in point of sale up to my uh, store. Now, I created that online store before I created this point of sale uh, company. And so what it's doing is it's actually pushing the online items down to point of sale. And if it were working in the opposite sense where you had the brick and mortar first, you could be pushing items up to your online store to create them there. So you don't have to do all this double entry. And so I believe these are the two items that it pushed. Uh, it is bringing in some HTML. I could turn off the item description being imported and we wouldn't see all this gibberish here for the item description. Yeah, I probably should do that. So uh, 
depending on which way you're pushing it, that it's going to work in different ways. So it automatically created the items in my point of sale and it's we're going to go to sales history here and so we can see oh it looks like i have it set where uh, where is it show details okay there it is so we have we just have a generic customer for all online orders set up for e-commerce customer uh, you could have it import the whole customer every time or you could have all of your orders from your store and they end up under one customer with history and so we can see it's been processed and uh, it ends up here and it tells me a lot about the order on my store and it records it right here in my point of sale like I said it's super malleable uh, you may have a point of sale that's full of items and you want to push those up to Shopify or push them up to WooCommerce and then work on them there. And from there on, they'll be mapped and they'll be synchronized. Uh, but this is just, I think this is so phenomenal for a lot of people who want to get into the online space and have no idea what to do. Um, you might need a web guy if you're not super tech savvy to set up your Shopify and stuff. But Webgility will definitely help uh, do the whole connection part for you and all the settings for the connection. Uh, I have my own rep at Webgility and they are standing by to do an on-screen demo with you and how this might work for you and your store, for different carts, for different marketplaces, for QuickBooks Point of Sale or QuickBooks Desktop. Uh, go ahead and click on the link down in the description below and you'll get over to my page where I can set you up with an on-screen demo with my Webgility specialist. So go ahead and do that. Click down there and get in there and I will have somebody uh, set that up with you and they can walk you through every single question you have. This was a really quick video, I know, uh, just about some of the awesome parts of it. But there's, I mean, I could not possibly cover everything in one little video about all the stuff that the Webgility um, interconnection can do for you between your brick and mortar and your online store. Uh, it's too vast. It's too vast. There's so many configurations and settings. I don't want to scare you like that. I actually am excited about that because that gives you all sorts of abilities for the way that you want to use this between your two stores, your virtual store and your real store. All right, my name's Peter with BlackRock Business. If this was helpful to you, go ahead and hit that like button down below. Otherwise, we'll see you on the next video. Leave a comment. Go bananas. Leave me something down below. I'd love to respond. You have yourself an excellent day. All right, bye-bye.